welcome to day two. Each morning here at Megyn Kelly Today, we want to kick things off with some topics that people are talking about to help you get your day started. A little water cooler action to kick off the morning. So here's what you need to know today. First up, palace intrigue. Have you seen the pictures? Prince Harry, yeah. Meghan Markle. Can you just raise your hand if you're interested in them? Oh. Everyone is. Why? But we are. She's an American, first of all, which is interesting. You know, we all kind of think we're going to grow up and be that princess, but we aren't. Um, and she's perhaps better known as Prince Harry's girlfriend, but they took their relationship up a notch on Monday when they appeared publicly together for the first time at the Invictus Games in Toronto. The PDA was riveting. I don't know why, but it really was. They walked in holding hands. Look at this. Yes. They sat next to each other. They leaned in close. They're doing play-by-plays -plays online and on TV about this. It is apparently a big step for the couple because, you know, everybody's fascinated by them, but the stargazers did not see a ring. My main impression in watching them is how much pressure she in particular is under, right? It's like, he's a prince, so he's used to it, but her world must just be exploding right now. And you think of Princess Diana and, you know, Princess Grace and all these other, because like, she was an actress, Princess Grace too. Anyway, all the best to the two of them because they seem like lovely people. Jessica Alba, I love her. She's in the news today for admitting that she's 36, she's the mother of two, she's pregnant with a third, and she is exhausted. <laughs> what stresses her out most, she is now saying, is that is thinking about bedtime when her kids want her to sing four songs each to them per night, right? So she says at the end of the day, all she really wants to do is decompress and eat. In response to which every mom everywhere said, word. <laughs> I was thinking about this because I feel this pressure with my kids too. You know, you work all day and at the end of the night you want to give something to them. And they love songs too. And then my third guy came along, Thatcher, and he wants me to sing. So I decided to mix it up a little and try something new on him. You like a new song, not a nursery rhyme. And it, it did not go well. <laughs> and then I tried another one and it went equally poorly. And then I went back to the third regular nursery rhyme and he looked at me out of his crib. This was like a year ago and he goes, why were the first two songs not very good? <laughs> anyway, I gave up. So you know that feeling when you offer a good idea, but no one seems to hear or acknowledge you? It is irritating, right? Yes. Even more irritating is when a man repeats what you just said, and then everybody says, oh my god, what a great idea. <laughs> and there is a word for that now, right? The new word for that is called heap-eating. <laughs> Isn't that perfect and heap eating? It's right up there with mansplaining. <laughs> Coining the term heap eat was apparently a woman online on Twitter. And this time everybody has heard it because it's been retweeted now over 66,000 times. Twitter, a force for good in the world. No, it is not. It is not. I know some of you have questions. All right, we're beginning with Heather from New Hampshire. Where Heather, where are you? Ah, up there in the balcony. Yep. Welcome. Thank you very much. It's on your mind. Um, there's a lot of controversy at the moment with um, athletes taking a knee during the ath anthem. Um, would you take a knee, Megan? Well, assumes facts, not in evidence, because I would never be at a sporting event. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I have a different take on that whole situation with the, you know, the NFL. You know, I practiced law for nine years, and I am a lover of the First Amendment. And I think in a, in a way, this whole situation underscores some of the beauty of our country because those players have every right to take a knee and those who object to it have every right to say they object. You know, whether it's to stand shoulder to shoulder to boycott, that's, that's America, right? We, I believe that the fundamental principle, the bedrock of the First Amendment is the answer to speech we do not like is not less speech, it's more speech. So I, I just sort of think, Go USA. That's, that's my feeling in watching it. All right, Lydia from Orlando. Lydia. Hi. Hi. My husband and I are huge fans. Hi. <laughs> um, my question is, we have an awesome daughter who started college. She's 20 years old. What advice would you give her as a young woman starting her career and starting her life? I would say work hard and then work harder and then work harder than that. Um, and don't whine and don't complain and say yes to everything and don't think you're entitled or you're special. <laughs> you know? Uh, I think especially as a young person, 
You should be volunteering to do the shifts on Christmas Eve and on New Year's Eve and on the weekends and overnight, and you're not above anything. And you have to know where to draw the lines. If somebody's behaving inappropriately, you've got to sort of recognize the difference between that and you know, just asking you to be a worker bee. Um, but I think the more you say yes to and the harder you work, the more you will stand out. You know, no offense, but especially in this millennial generation. <laughs> Uh, and so, and there's, no, there's nothing wrong with hard work. I, I was saying this yesterday, but to me, it's been a security blanket my whole life. It's gotten me from A to B. Even though I never felt like the smartest lawyer or the best journalist, if I just worked hard, I felt like it could get me forward. And so hard work is a soothing bomb, right? It's like a, it's a soothing bomb that you can, no one can steal from you. You know, even if you weren't born necessarily the smartest or the best. N no offense to your daughter, as she might, she might be. <laughs> but it's better if she thinks she's not. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.